As how much you use Asana grows, you'll find that your task list continues to get bigger and bigger. If you're remembering things out into the future and planning ahead, you'll find that all of a sudden your to-do list starts to include things that aren't even coming up for the next 60 to 90 days, maybe even farther out, and you just don't need to be looking at them every day. The last thing you need on your Asana list is clutter. So here's how to create a My Task list for things that you need to be looking at right away and getting rid of all the clutter. So normally your default list would be clicking on this list here called My Tasks. When you look in My Tasks, I do have mine a little customized, but you'll see that you end up with things that aren't coming up due for a long time. And some that don't have due dates at all or may not even be relevant to you, such as templates. In order to cut down on the clutter from this list, we're going to use the advanced search tool. So go to the top left hand corner, click on search. Scroll down to the bottom of the drop down and click on advanced search. Under advanced search, we're going to use a few fields. First, go to assign to and type in your name. Then go down to where you select tasks, select incomplete. Finally, go to do within the next and you're going to select only the amount of time that you want to see at once when you're looking at your tasks. Um, you know, for me, it's probably about two to three weeks out that I want to be looking at it any given time. So I'll go ahead and put in 21 days. Finally, you also want to exclude any tags. If you're anything like Lawton Digital, for example, we use templates. So uh, all of our templates are stored in Asana itself. For efficiency, many of them are already pre-assigned to the person who would complete the task when the template is pulled into a project. So that means that we want to pull those templated tasks out of our daily to-do list because in the template, they're not things that actually need to be completed. So using this not tagged with advanced field, we're going to exclude anything tagged with templates. After that, you hit the search button. Once you hit the search button, you'll find that you come up with something that looks even more cluttered, but don't panic yet. First, favorite that by hitting the little star that makes it pop up in your left-hand corner navigation. Then we're going to refine the search a little bit more and sort it. So let's go to sort right here. Under sort, we like to use project best. It just works best with us since we use project. Um, we use projects heavily for how we organize everything for our clients. Once you have project, then you're automatically scrolling through things by project, internal versus client facing and different sections of your business. Some people might like a different method, um, but this works really well for us. Now, if you choose to, you can further refine your search anytime, so you're not stuck with this setup once you pick it. And you can also change how you're looking at things. If you would like, you can switch to the calendar view anytime. Or if you'd like to look at other things, such as maybe um, Things that were modified recently, so had recent activity, you can select that view as well. We usually just keep this template under one setup, so we have what we would call our default to-do list. And then, in order to make sure you recognize it later, you want to type a name that works well for you. I always like to remember what filters are in place, so I include that. So this shows me when everything is due. Now since this will be an important list for me to use on a regular basis instead of my My Tasks list, um, after I favorited it, it appeared in my favorites bar on the left hand side. And I'm going to take it and move it up to the very top so that I can look at it on a regular basis. Well perhaps I'm not going to right now. Usually you can drag and drop to move up. So everything else, uh, you should be able to just drag and drop and rearrange those. Um, the other way to make it stand out is to use colors. Um, so just some things to keep in mind. 
and I hope this helps you out on your organizing. Thanks.